Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here at Mad About Skin, we're passionate about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. So if you haven't already, now's a fantastic time to click that link below, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and you won't miss out on any of our amazing future content. Now, in today's video, we are doing a little bit of a departure from our usual content on this channel. Anyone that's watched this channel before knows I'm drugstore to my core. I love to recommend to you guys affordable skincare options. However, today we are breaking with that mold and we are talking about all things luxury. I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite luxury skincare brands of all time, the ones which I actually think are worth spending that little extra coin if you can afford to, to enjoy. Now, I've not left the drugstore completely. In fact, I've done a whole series on drugstore skincare, so I'll leave the playlist up there if you do want to check that out. But today, let's celebrate some things that might cost a little bit more, but maybe it's time to treat yourself. 2020 has been a difficult year for a lot of people. Maybe you want to treat yourself. Maybe you've got a birthday coming up. Christmas is round the corner. Well, don't panic anyone. It's not that round the corner. But you know what I mean? You might want to be pulling your list to Santa together. And you might want some really nice luxury skin treats. And I've got some fantastic, fantastic options which are actually worth the money. Before we get into it, and I've got a lot to say, so I'm going to speed this intro up. But before we get into it, I do want to say there's a difference between luxury and ludicrous. To me, luxury is something where you might pay a little bit extra, but you're getting more for that money. Ludicrous is La Mer Serum, $200. Don't need it in your life big difference. So today, you're not going to be seeing any 200, 800, whatever dollar products here. This is all affordable luxury. What I call as worth paying a little bit extra for, get out the credit card and enjoy these products, but they're actually going to do something for the money that you're spending. Straight into it. Let's not beat around the bush anymore. Let's get straight into it and talk about a brand which I absolutely adore, and that is Aesop. Pronounced Aesop, Aesop, depends where you come from. But either way, this is a beautiful brand. My absolute favorite product from them is this, which is the Arose by Any Other Name Body Cleanser. This is just typical of the branding of this product line. It's so beautiful, it is so gorgeous. Yes, you pay a little bit more, but do you know what? Imagine your guest, you've got a dinner, a fabulous dinner party on the go. Someone says, do you mind if I use your bathroom? Absolutely, go upstairs. They walk upstairs, they open the door and they see a range of products like this sat on your vanity. <sighs> They'll gasp and they'll know that you have taste, you have money, and you know exactly what you're doing when it comes to skincare. I love this brand. It's so much more than just the packaging and the look, though that is beautiful. It's cruelty free and the formulations are divine. This is my favorite product. This is their body cleanser. This is my favorite product from theirs, which is 30 pounds here in the UK. That's expensive for a body wash. Don't get me wrong, but it's worth it. And I'll tell you why, the smell, oh. I'm not a huge fan of, I got that all over my nose. I'm not a huge fan of rose um, as a scent. I think it can be a bit overpowering, but this, Someone bought me this, who bought me this? Somebody bought me this for Christmas like two years ago and I've been using it ever since and I always have, this is my spare. I've got one in the shower and one in the spare. I love this. Not only does it make your body smell stunning, it's not rose like that heavy, like old grandma rose smell. This is a beautifully light, earthy, rich, gorgeous, gorgeous, sort of Middle Eastern rose. It smells expensive, it smells decadent, and it just is beautiful. You come out of your shower smelling divine, but also, and more importantly, your whole bathroom just smells of like expensive spa days for hours afterwards. Like you can go into your bathroom like three hours later and you're still getting that intoxicating rose aroma. Oh, it's stunning. I couldn't live without this. I know it's 30 pounds. I know that's expensive for a body wash, but I would really, really recommend you check it out. If you like your scents, your deep, rich, elegant scents, this is a product for you. I've linked to this as well as all the products I'm gonna talk below. Um, so click the link in the description if you do want to purchase or read any more about them. Um, some of them are, just for disclosure, some of them are um, affiliate links where we get a small amount of commission um, if you purchase using that link. But so we can stay independent and true to ourselves, we donate all of our commission here on this channel to charity. At the moment, we're working with Wet Refuge, which is a woman's domestic violence charity donating to provide um, support, toiletry support packages for people fleeing domestic violence. So you know all of these recommendations because I love the product. But if you do want to um, purchase any of them, you can use the links below. Sticking with um, Aesop, another one of their gorgeous products is their, and this, this is so bougie, this is so bougie, but I'm not gonna apologize, unashamed, is their animal wash. Now, I have a, I have a dog. Many of you might see my dog on the channel. I also have two cats. And the dog in particular, I live by the beach, loves to run through the mud flats and get as mucky and as smelly as possible. And so when it's bath time, I reach for the Aesop Animal Wash. I do this because A, it leaves him super fluffy and well, it's um, veterinary approved, so you know it's good for the dog, good for the animal, but again, the smell. And as the dog scampers around the house, it disperses this gorgeous, gorgeous scent and he's so fluffy and cuddly afterwards. 
I'm fully on board with this. Yes, you don't need to expend, um, spend money on an expensive animal wash, but I think if you're treating yourself to a gorgeous body wash that smells divine, surely the pooch deserves the same treatment? I don't know, that's £27, $30. And again, I just really like the scent. Back onto skincare with Aesop, I think if you were gonna just, you don't know where to start with this brand. I did a whole video on them, so I'll leave a link there if you want to explore them a bit more. But if you don't know where to start with this brand, I actually really recommend you get the Departure Travel Set. Now, I don't like skincare sets because I think they're a bit gimmicky, they're a bit overpriced. I like to choose what I want to use, not have it pre-picked for me. Yet, the one exception I'll make is this. The Aesop Departure Travel Set is fantastic. Before I go on any holiday, and let's be honest, it's been a while since any of us have been on holiday. Before I do, I order one of these, I don't even open it, I just throw it in the suitcase, and when I get to the other end, I kind of have everything I need for my holiday. You get your toothpaste and your um, mouthwash, both of which are gorgeous, literally gorgeous in Aesop. I think they're two, they just taste totally different and they just really nice. Um, you also get the body wash, you get face wash, you get serum and you get a moisturiser. So all you need to really pack on top of that is your SPF and you have got, you've got your holiday basics down. I would definitely recommend you check this out because A, you get all really good size products in this that can sit on your vanity. You can try these out before you maybe commit to a full size product. The travel set is £45 and I think it's a really good value for everything you're getting in there. You don't need to take it on holiday with you but if you've got one planned you might want to but just open it up and enjoy each of the products and kind of work out what else you want to buy from this brand. Now, moving on from uh, obviously a brand that I'm passionate and fangirly about to one which I love the brand, but I'm very selective about the products that I use from it. Some of them are really good and they're the ones I want to share with you today. And that's Dr. Dennis Gross. I love, love, love this skincare line particularly their exfoliators. I think some of their moisturizers and some of their serums can be a bit overpriced and gimmicky, but their exfoliators are second to none. My absolute favorite is the Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel. This is a combination. So you get two pads in one, like in a sachet. And the first one is your peel pad, is your exfoliator. It's a mix of five alpha hydroxy acids. I don't really know of many other exfoliants that have five acids all mixed in one. So you're getting a multi-surface, multi-level um, exfoliation, which is beautiful. It's quite potent and yet still, it doesn't lead to that redness and sensitivity, which I absolutely love. What makes this product amazing and worth the price tag though, is the second peel, which is a powerful wipe-on set of antioxidants. They kind of just complement each other beautifully. You do your exfoliation, you wait for it to dry, then you slather on your antioxidants and your skin is glowing, snatched and protected. I love this. I love the mixture of antioxidants they've got in there. They've got a little bit of Q10. They've got some other really high performing antioxidants. And I think it's a beautiful combo. Here in the UK, you can get five of the sets for £20. That might seem quite a lot, but you can buy larger amounts and then the unit cost does come down. But the reason I actually like the £20 for five is because if you're kind of, A, you can try it before you commit to a full size. But what I really love about this product is if you're feeling your skin's just a bit lackluster, maybe you've just recovered from, you know, feeling a bit unwell or your skin just feels like it needs a boost. Using these for five days straight, every day for five days, and your skin at the end will be glowing, snatched, and looking absolutely sensational. So I don't necessarily say you need this in your life every single day, but treat yourself to five of these pads. Use them five days straight, and at the end of the day, you will look gorgeous, glowing, and just feeling so much better about your skin. You always have a good skin day after you've used this product, which is why it's one of my absolute holy grails. Now, moving from a brand where I'm a bit selective about some of the products I like and dislike to one where I pretty much love everything they have to offer, and that's Sunday Rightly beautifully cruelty-free brand, but also I think have some really good innovative technology that makes it worth spending a little bit extra on their products. My absolute favorite, the holy grail from the Sunday Rider collection is the ceramic slip cleanser. I first got bought this when I was about 17, either Christmas or birthday, I can't remember, when I was just getting into skincare. I had very acneic skin, and so I reached for this, which is really suitable for people with oily or combination skin. And I mean, I was quite bougie at a young age, and I think I've got more drugstore as I've got older, but I still reach for this product. It's got a beautiful mix of clays, including French pink, French clay in there, which is beautiful. It's got humectant, so it leaves or you removed of all that excess oil, but not stripped and dry. You still feel plump and moisturized after you've used it. 
It's slippy enough that you can do a light facial massage to really work the product in to make sure you're getting that deep cleanse. And I absolutely love it. It's £27 here in the UK, $32 in the US, which I don't think is that bad for a cleanser that actually really works. And if you want to treat yourself, I think a cleanser is a really nice way to do it because it feels expensive. It feels gorgeous on the skin. And I don't think £27 is break the bank money for a product that really does deliver. I wouldn't use this if you have dry skin. I think it's a little bit too drying for that. But for everyone else, it's a really beautiful option. Another product from them I rave about, fangirl about and absolutely love. In fact, I did a whole review on it, which I'll link there, is their Tidal Enzyme Brightening Water Cream. This is a moisturizer with enzymes in as well. So as you put it on, not only are you getting a nice light gel-like hydration, but you're also getting those enzymes nibbling away and brightening your skin as the day goes on. This is a really good cruelty-free dupe for the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel. I love that because it's hydrating, yet it's not too thick and occlusive. So it's great for someone with oily or acneic skin or just normal skin that doesn't want to be too weighed down in summer. It's not the same price as the Hydro Boost Gel, obviously. It's £28 here in the UK, $35 in the US. And why I think it's worth spending a little bit extra on for a moisturiser like this is that enzyme. The enzymes are giving you a little bit more than just a standard gel moisturiser. And I think for £28 is a really reasonable price point. Again, it's linked below. I really would check it out if you have slightly dull, slightly oily skin. You want to up your hydration game, but not increase the amount of breakouts you have. But more importantly, you want that bright, glowing skin. This is a really, really good option. Now, from a brand which I've been using since I was in my teens through to one that I've only recently discovered, and because of you guys recommending it in your droves, I thought, okay, I give in, I bought products. Product, and I fell in love. And that is Alginist. These are a really, really great company that has some gorgeous looking products, but they also are really famous for their collagen based products. And their number one most iconic product has to be their Genius Liquid Collagen. The reason I like this is it's really hard to find a vegan collagen. This is vegan. Yeah, it's called vegan collagen. It's not collagen. It's an amino acid substitute collagen that works in the same way. But it's, you know, it's vegan collagen. And so actually it's suitable for people that are living a plant-based lifestyle, but it's so hydrating and plumping. I absolutely love it. It's on the pricey side. You can get a trial. So you, again, I like that a lot of these product lines that I'm mentioning today have smaller sizes available. So you don't feel like, you know, you're spending a huge amount of money for a product you might not like. At least you can try before you commit to a full size. Their trial size is £20. $25. For the larger size, it's £90 or $100. This is beautifully hydrating. Now, I'm not sure, I'm not convinced on whether applying topical collagen or collagen substitute actually leads to a meaningful increase in collagen within the skin. I think you need peptides to be able to deliver that, retinols and other things that are going to trigger the natural production of collagen. But collagen is a really good humectant and moisturiser. It's fantastic at plumping the skin. And there are some studies out there that show it does have a small and marginal impact in the levels of collagen actually within the skin structure. So it definitely works on a number of levels. This is also packed full of algae and algal oils, which are just going to take your hydration level into the stratosphere. If you're struggling to retain hydration, this is a beautiful product for you because it'll lock in all of that. You've got your humectants, you've got your oils, you've got your moisturizers. This is just a really nice all around serum and kind of moisturizer in one. I fell in love when I used it. I only use it on my absolute driest days and I have given it to some other friends to try who have drier skin and have equally fallen in love with it. Yes, it's not Oh, strictly collagen, but it's the closest vegan alternative you can get. And I think it delivers exactly what you want it to do. Another brand, we spoke about cleansers earlier in the video, and another brand which I just think excel when it comes to cleansing is Eve Lom. Eve Lom is a world leading facialist, so you know when you're buying into this brand that you not only get that beautiful aesthetic and that beautiful look with the products, but someone who actually knows how to formulate for skin and provide really good, powerful, yet really effective cleansers, serums, the lot. I think it's a really beautiful product line. A lot of people reach for their balm cleanser, which is really good, and I've used it on and off for quite a few years. It's a product I tend to, because it's a little bit on the pricier side, I tend to get for Christmas, use it till it's up and then wait till the following year. However, I've started buying mid-year, I know, push the boat out, who knew? <laughs> I started buying mid-year, their cleansing oil capsules. Now the reason I do this is they're a little 
they come in little capsules. If you've ever used the Elizabeth, I think it's Elizabeth Arden like ceramide capsules, similar to that, but they're biodegradable. So it's not like plastic and it's going to end up in landfill or in the ocean somewhere. It's biodegradable, which I love, well thought through. And it's a beautiful mix of cleansing oils. You snap it off, you put it in your hands and you've got the perfect amount to cleanse the face. You could do a facial massage with it. And it's absolutely beautiful. The reason I like these is because they're very travel friendly, which is great. But also they're in measured amounts. So you're not overusing the product. And I think the price is really reasonable for what you're getting so it's 55 pounds here in the uk for 50 capsules so 50 cleanses which when you break it down a pound of cleanse i don't think that's that bad it's 60 dollars, so it's actually even better priced when you take into account the exchange rate in the us and it's a really really nice product it's got 10 oils in here it smells divine though it is actually unfragranced and i just think everything about it is just expensive and yet lovely you put this on your face it not only does a full deep cleanse and it's perfect for people that like an oil cleanse but don't want the mess that comes with it but when you put it off take it off it emulsifies it washes down and it leaves you hydrated plump and your skin does look really glowy fresh and just gorgeous it also doesn't dry the skin out so it lets the rest of your skincare go on beautifully and i've really fallen in love with this and i never thought never in a million years thought i would be swayed by expensive cleansers or by gimmicky cleansers like this because do you need the capsules no but you know what when you're traveling it's perfect when you just want to ease you don't want a pre-measured amount it's really nice and i would normally stay away from this product because i think pre-measured all that packaging going into landfill going into the oceans but because they're biodegradable it's really been thought through and you're actually being able to have that pre-measured amount without all the packaging that's going to end up in landfill so i absolutely love it I also love, and this is a super treat spa-like in-home spa experience. While we've been in lockdown, a lot of us have been reaching for masks and other treatments to kind of get that spa at home, that calming, relaxing experience when we can't go out and have a facial or whatever you want to do outside. And I love their Time Retreat Face and Neck Mask. It's £15 for one, which... Again, you compare that to what you pay for a facial or a spa treatment, really well priced for what you're getting. And this is a face and neck in one. We always forget about the neck. We throw a face mask on and it stops here. What about this? We spend all our life saying you need to take your product onto the neck. And yet when we put a face mask on, we just ignore it. I realize I'm wearing a turtleneck, probably the worst thing for demonstrating this. But you know what I mean. You want that neck area to be covered as well. This has it. It comes in a two in one. So you've got the neck treatment as well. It's beautifully hydrating. Not only does it feel luxurious, it feels like you're having an in-home spa experience. But it's so hydrating. And when you peel it off with your neck and your face the next morning, because I'd use this before you go to bed, you peel it off, massage the rest of the product in, and in the morning, you wake up and you know you're having a good skin day. I love this. If I had an event, an event, like I go to the Oscars or, you know, I'm invited to loads of things, darling. No, you know what I mean? If I had something that I wanted to look my best for the following day, for £15, pop this on the night before and you know you can wake up confident that your skin is going to be glowing and ready for whatever the day faces so you can look your best. Finally, I'm going to mention a brand which... I've stayed away from for years because I don't like clean beauty. Uh, there's no international standard for what clean is and so it's gimmicky, people throw it in. I think companies are jumping on the bandwagon rather than actually caring about what's in their products. And so I just tend to avoid it. However, this brand, which I hadn't heard about here in the UK, but is huge in the US, Honest Beauty, the Honest Beauty Company, have come forward. It's Jessica Alba's company. Again, don't really like celebrity skincare and makeup. I think, again, a bit gimmicky. Oh girl, she knows what she's doing and I love, love, love what she's put together. I think the Honest Beauty Company genuinely believe in clean beauty and they put on their website for everyone what, what it means to them. So you know exactly what you're buying with this. So it gets away from a lot of my concerns around clean beauty gimmickery. And I think it's a beautiful, beautiful product line. They've just relaunched here in the UK their skincare. So I've been able to try it and I've fallen in love. It's been available in the US for a little bit of time, but it's still reasonably new on the market. I love their Honest Beauty Hydrogel Click Cream. I love their Honest Beauty Hydrogel Cream. Oh, this is just a divine product. Um, it's lightweight, it's whipped almost in texture. Again, cruelty-free. It's also got that clean beauty stamp if that's what you're looking for in your skincare. And it's a great dupe for the um, Hydro Boost Gel, again, by Neutrogena. I love this. It's just so lightweight. It doesn't clog your skin. For summer months, you put this on, you get the right level of hydration, you walk out your door knowing you're hydrated, but you're not going to be weighed down, you're not going to turn oily and greasy as the day goes on. It's beautiful. £25 here in the UK, 38 no, $28, sorry, in the US. So a really good price point for a moisturiser, especially if you want that clean element to it. It's stunning. Anyone that's seen Jessica Alba, her skin is like... 
mind-blowingly gorgeous. So if she's using this stuff, I'm on board with it. I also like their Honest Beauty Pure Retinol Serum. You know, we talk about retinols all the time and I love retinol. One of the few ingredients that reverses the signs of um, accumulated sun damage and also prevents those fine lines and wrinkles and boosts your collagen. But it can be really difficult to find a nice, cruelty-free, clean, if that's what you want, serum. This is fantastic. This is light and hydrating. So it's great for people like myself who have slightly oilier skin, but also great for people with normal or combination skin. I don't think this product will be rich enough as a retinol for people who have dry skin, but it's great, great, great for everybody else. It's plump. It's got a 1% retinol in there. So you know what you're getting. It's a super strength retinol, but it's in a really nice formulation. It's reasonably priced. It's £35, $40. And it comes, again, it just comes with a really nice set of values attached to the company. So if you want a clean retinol and you want one that's actually going to work, deliver those benefits and is a proven strength, I would really reach for this. I think it's a fantastic option. Again, it's linked below. Check it out. But I think just because you want clean beauty, I don't think it means you have to sacrifice your retinol, which can be really hard to find a clean retinol. This is a good option for you. And again, I think it's worth spending that little bit of extra money for the quality of product and formulation you're getting here. There you go, guys. Let me know what you think. Have I swayed you? Have any of these brands tickled your interest, piqued your interest, and are you going luxury with your skincare? Are you already a committed luxury skincare lover? Own up. Let me know in the comments below what your go-to luxury skincare products are. Wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.